Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the Seraphim um Easy. I really enjoyed this album. Um I feel like the production on this project was the highlight. You know, the girls did an amazing job. Production really took things to a whole new level. Because for me, when it comes to the Seraphim, as much as I enjoy their music, I always find myself wanting more. Sometimes, not all the time. Wanting more when it comes to like the songs. Um, why? It's because they now made me used to having an album where you have those two, three songs where production goes absolutely insane. Then you have like your cruisers in there. But this is the first Le Seraphim album where I feel like every single song, the producers were on one. They were like, oh, you think you are going to have the best song on the album? Hold my beer. And then they just went crazy. The next one heard one of the tracks and it was like, oh, I'm not staying behind. Let me show you what I can do. That's exactly how it feel listening to this album. It's every song is really so well produced and I love it. You know, um, I love that they pulled from different genres and influences, um, Afrobeat and Latin vibe are definitely going to um, rule and take over hip hop for a long time. And you can see with where the music is going. Now, I love the fact that even though they went that route and decided to make an Afrobeat sound, they did not strip the music of Le Seraphim. You know, the essence of who they are, their vibe, their sound and everything. Yes, we have like um, smarter, the way they say it is definitely um, something that you hear more in Afrobeat song. And um, at the core of it, this is what it is. But what I love about it is when you start listening to the verses and the chorus and the lyrics, it's very much a Le Seraphim song. And that's all as that has always been one of my issues with K-pop idols venturing out and trying different things is I hate when they go out there and they completely disregard what their sound has been what they've been building this whole time and try to cater to this audience by just taking that thing and making it their own identity that this is where i just find it very annoying i rather have them pull inspiration from those genres and do it in their own way that way I can appreciate it. And I think that's what the Seraphim did with, you know, the sound on this album and the influences is they give us their own interpretation of those sounds. I I rather this, right? Um, because for me, if we are going to have a sound that is all about fusion and taking those different things and being inspired by all those things, I still have... I still need to be able to find the you in all those things, you know, and I think that's where they won me over is the fact that while listening to the album, it was still the Seraphim that I heard. Yes, they were influenced by all those different genres, but it was just another twist in their sound. They just took their sound to a whole new level. And, you know, I love this so much. Because for me, this is how you make people curious. And people from all those different places are first going to identif identify with the sound because it's maybe something that they're more familiar with. But because there is this part of you in here, this is the part of you in the song is what is going to make them want to go and check out your other stuff and make them stay. And I really like the fact that as much as they went and experimented with different sound and different vibe, I can still hear them. 
So I love the production. I love the energy. Um, I love the fact that this is one album where I feel like I fell in love with everybody equally. Um, I don't specifically have a bias in the Seraphim. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Let me retract my statement because Cheon is there. But K1. Now, although I do have a bias <laughs> in Le Seraphim, I feel like they do a very good job of highlighting everybody in the songs. And even though I may, you know, bias Cheon, I will appreciate Sakura in the song, for example. And this is something that I really love about Le Seraphim is once you're done with the album, you have heard everybody and that's what i need more of you know live distribution will never be equal but if you go for sounds that are going to really favor everyone i think even the person that get less is still getting the shine put on them now coming to my favorite songs on the album number two is we got so much I love the fact that it's so stripped down, you know. Um, it's very much focus on the voice, focus on the voice. And I love when we have songs like this. You know, the producers are still doing their thing. The song is still interesting. But ultimately, the focus is definitely more on the vocals than anything else. Now, the best song on the album, to nobody's surprise, I think, at this point, you might have guessed, um, it is Smart. I'm a smarter baby, smarter, smarter baby, smarter. Hand on the moon, girl, busy. Can't find a sister, busy. Wanna be a winner, wanna be a winner. Yeah, let's get it, let's get it. Now we got our destiny. When I'm gone, so need a numb. I call it sugar. She, 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 she. 
Everybody did such a wonderful job with it. And for me, what makes the song so good is just the glimpses of the seraphim that I got in the song. You know, yes, you can hear the alphabet influence, but that chorus, <laughs> especially the pre chorus, is definitely so K pop and I love it. I just love their interpretation and what they did with it. And they sound amazing. And that's the best song on that album. Let me know your thoughts about the album in the comments. And, you know, how many favorites do we have in common? And if you want more, check out their dedicated playlist on the channel. <laughs> 